Uh, who is that woman? Uh, her name is Sunny. Oh, what is she doing here? Uh, uh, do you know the boy, Senorita Miss Marnikit? Well, yes, of course. Uh, that's his sister. Excuse me. Victoria, I just saw Max leaving from the garden. I know. Well, does this mean he's moving back now that uh, Rachel's Oh, Clark, gone? please. I don't know. What, did Tony and Rachel get into a fight over Max or what? No, not Max. Not this time. Evidently, the young man who's in the hospital is not the young man that Marnie hit. What do you mean it's not the young man that Marnie hit? Then, then who did she hit? Well, I, I don't know, but... Not this young. He's the, he's there because he's get, trying to get medical attention for a previous accident. Well, what does any of this have to do with Rachel? Because she and her father knew about it. They knew about it, but they didn't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. I guess they were trying to protect the people. No, Monty went to jail to protect these people. Oh, now that's ridiculous. <laughs> When did Rachel and her father find out about all this, Annie? The day you brought Martin and, and me here, uh, Mr. Swanson, he knew what was going on the minute he saw me. He knew Danielle was hurt way before. Are you telling me that Mr. Swanson and Rachel knew nothing about this? They had nothing to do with it? Yeah, I mean, well, how could they? Marnie went to, to jail and, look, I swear I wouldn't have done this if... Uh, Annie. How did Larchmont find out about Marnie's accident? I don't know. You don't know. How did you meet him? Um, um, I, I met him at a bar. We, we were talking, and then um, I told him about Daniel, and um, then he asked me to do this. He said nobody was going to get hurt. He said nobody was going to go to jail. And, well, Daniel, I made him do it. He didn't want to do this, and I felt so sorry for him. He couldn't even move his legs. Do you give me an address, a phone number? No. You have a friend named Julie, is that right? Yes. Does she know about this whole scam? No, no. Annie, please stop lying to me. Julie just called Larchmine and asked him for the money that he owes her. She called him? Julie has his phone number? Yes. I, uh... I, I, I told her the story because, because you know, I didn't want her to go to jail, too. And are you going to put us in jail? What was Rachel doing at your house? Rachel, uh, she wanted me to help her find Mr. David Largemont. For what? I, I don't know. Look, I swear... I'm going to pay you back every penny for the hospital bill, I promise you. But please, please, just wait just a little bit till Daniel gets better, please. Annie, why should I for a moment think about doing anything nice for you? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you tell Park? Well, certainly I did. I have no reason to hide the facts. Andrew, it's ridiculous. How can Rachel and her father defend these people? I mean, how did they even know that Monty had an accident? There's a guy by the name of David Larchmont. He paid them to do it. The same David Larchmont that's been calling here? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Why? Well, apparently to hurt Rachel and her family. But... Uh... Um, good evening. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mom. Max thinks that David Largeman is Rachel's accomplice. Alex. Who were you all afternoon? With some friends. What kind of friends? Well, you don't know them. Well, don't do anything stupid, okay? What do you mean? You know perfectly well what I'm talking about. Excuse 
Does Max know who she is? Well, why should he? He has nothing to do with this. Why are you asking, Clark? Just curious. That's it. I've had it. I guess tonight's my lucky night. Yeah, you really clean me out this time, huh? You win some, you lose some. Call Max. Get some more dough. Right. That jerk hasn't called back yet. Max Hauser, please. He's not? This is Ron. Have you given him my messages? You have. What did he say? Okay, thanks. What's the matter? Not home? No, he's not. He called in for messages. They gave him Mars. Why hasn't he called? How in the hell should I know? Hey, man, it was your deal. Don't start yelling at me. It ain't my fault you're a sore loser. I'm gonna give Max one more chance to call us back. If he doesn't, I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hello, this is Ron. I'm a criminal. I'd like to report another one. <laughs> That's great, man. That's the one and only. Oh, you got it. Please speak with Carla. This is Frank Turnell. Hey, Carla. How you doing? Uh, listen, I couldn't really sleep, so I figured I'd call you and make plans for lunch. Lunch tomorrow? Yeah, that, that'd be wonderful. I'll take you to a really nice, romantic little restaurant, I know. Okay, that, that's absolutely great. Pick you up around one? One's fine. One. Yeah. Okay. Great. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Catch things up? Dad, we explain to her what's going on. And then not uh, wait for Annie and take her to the restaurant like I talked about. Okay. What's going on? Rachel thinks that the guy that paid Annie is Max. She thinks that Max and David Larchmont are the same guy? What 
Why didn't you tell him about Julie? I couldn't. Look, I'll tell you another day, but I got to go. But what the boss is going to do? Is he going to put you in jail? I asked him, and I, I hope not. I don't think he will. He's a nice guy. Look, I really hope so, Martin, but I have to go. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. You said Peter and his girls are at that hotel? Yes, downtown. Look, bye. Oh, can I do something for you? Yes, I want you to take me to see Rachel tomorrow. But how? I don't know where. Yes, you do, Martin. I just heard you. <laughs> so Tony asked Rachel for a divorce? Yes. Is she going to get any money? Money. Honey. What's the matter? Did you throw up again? Here. <coughs> You're freezing. I'm calling the doctor. No, Dad, it's okay. Marnie's got plenty of money, all right? She's not doing so hot. What's wrong with her? She's been throwing up. Then call a doctor, you idiot. I'm going to. I'm on my way. She doesn't feel hot. She feels cold, actually. The problem is she hasn't eaten in two days. Max, I don't want you here. You guys can't live like this anymore. Dad, please ask Max to leave. Max? Yes, I'm, I'm here for Rachel. Annie, come in. Annie, uh, this is Max Hauser. Nice to meet you. Max, please go. Will you please go? Is it him? No, I've never seen him before. When Peter told her about it, she right away said she was going to tell you. She called your office, but you were out. Are you sure Rachel knew nothing about Larchmont? I am sure. What makes you so sure? Because Peter never told her about Larchmont. Why not? Peter wanted her to keep quiet. He said Senora Mrs. Rachel would never do it if she knew that Larchmont was in on it. Dr. Moore told me that I was anemic. He also gave me some nerve pills to take. I just never took them. You must do it this time. Okay. Doctor, what about the other thing? Hi. Hi. That's precisely why you have to take these pills and take very good care of yourself. Please, get her these pills. Okay. Tomorrow, I want you co to come see me. Okay. Thank you. Okay. My father's downstairs. He's going to pay you, okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Welcome. Good night. Good night. What'd he say? Same thing that Dr. Moore said. I'm pregnant. Really? Yes. But you weren't pregnant last time. Yeah, well, this time I am. When I found out, I didn't want to tell Mr. Swanson because... 
people because I like Annie. She's a nice person. And that guy, Larchman, told her no one was going to be hurt or anything. And uh, he said that he just wanted to scare you. So according to you, a nice girl is one who works at that club, huh? No, boss, but uh, she was going to get away from there, but, but she had to take that job because Danielle was hurt. And uh, she was going to quit. Sure. Quit and go off on her own, get her own clientele. Clubs, bars, whatever she can find. No, boss, that's not true. She's got another job now. She's doing laundry. And her friend Julie is the one that got her into this mess. You know Julie? No. But she is the cause of all these problems. What problems? You know, boss, the club and all those things. Martin. I'm sick of your lies. You better tell me the truth right now. I am telling you the truth. No, you are not. I'm warning you, Martin. And tell Annie, too. If she doesn't tell me the truth by tomorrow, she will be in jail. Maybe the police will have better luck with her. Tony has to know. No. Why? Because I don't want anybody to know about this, Marnie, especially Tony. Dad said that he was here, that he asked you for a divorce. Yeah. Are you going to get any money out of it, any alimony? No. No? He has to. He has to pay you alimony, especially now that you're carrying his baby. Marnie, Marnie, just... I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just don't tell anybody that I'm pregnant, especially Dad and Max. I don't want anybody to know. Fine, okay. Don't you understand? I want to go home. I want to go back to San Francisco. I hate it here. Yeah? Marty, open the door. Wait. I, 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 listen to me, I can't even talk. I'm, I'm so excited. What? Because I'm going to be a grandpa, me. How do you know? The, the, doc, the doctor told us. Wait a minute, us? Who's us? I, uh, well, the doctor told me that you were pregnant, honey, and, and Max was standing there, so, so he overheard. Oh, great. I, look, he also said, he also said that, that, that he wants to see you in his office tomorrow. You got that? So that you're very weak, sweetheart. Very weak, so you gotta take care of yourself. That means it's you gotta you gotta eat right, you gotta eat the right things, and and, and also get rest. Okay? Dad, is Max gone? Uh, no, no, honey. He uh, he insisted on going to get you some food. Damn. What angel? Why are you crying? Because I'm never gonna get rid of that. Oh, baby, baby, baby. I could forget about Max. I know how you can get rid of Max. Tony will take you back. That'll be the only way. And in your present condition, he'll have to. What is wrong with you? God, don't you have any dignity? Aren't you even the least bit ashamed? You know what, honey? You're right. No, Dad, she's wrong. She's only thinking about herself. Do you think maybe for once you can put your pride aside? You're going to be having a child. What, what's going to happen to the child? What kind of life is it going to have? Marty, don't you even mention this to Tony. Do you agree with Marty? No, honey. I think you've been trying to do the right thing from the very beginning. But you gotta give in just a little bit, sweetheart. Because there's two of you to think about now. Okay. So you got his address from the club, huh, Charles? Yeah. The fellow's name's Bill. He used to work at the place. What happened? Got fired? Well, he wasn't saying. He hadn't worked there in almost a month. Check out his house? No. 
he lives alone. I talked with uh, one of the neighbor ladies, and she said that he hardly spends any time there anymore. Why not? I don't know. She said that he used to leave in the evenings, go off to work, come back in the mornings. But now, he just comes there and he runs right in, runs right back out. Doesn't spend any appreciable time there. What about physical description? Anything? Yeah, I got it. Good. Look, put a surveillance team on him, huh? If they spot him, have him call you right away. You got it. Good. What about the clerk in San Francisco? Anything? Nothing. Hello, all. Hi, I'm Laura. How are you? Good. Hi. Hello? Charles, I'll see you tomorrow at the office. Huh? All right, fine, Tommy. Thanks. Good night, Warren. Good night. And how are we feeling? Fine. Mm. How about a drink? Whiskey. Sure. I heard the news, Tony. What news is that? Getting a divorce. That's right. I'm sorry. Really? Mm-mm. Should have never married that woman. But what I say? You were right. What can I say? You had dinner, at least? No. Well, we can't have that, now can we? You're a growing boy. Come on. Let's go get something to eat. Come on. Rachel's called my house twice already. I mean, thank God Max told me in time. I wonder why he still wants her. I don't know. Maybe he's infatuated with her. Oscar, do you really think that Max had anything to do with Tony's accident? Is Rachel telling the truth? No. She hasn't told the truth since she's been here. I thought she was so sincere. So did Tony, Victoria. I really think he should call the police. We can't call the police. Why not? Because if we do, Rachel's going to implicate Max. That's why. Oscar, I'm really worried. I think he's in love with her. All done? Yeah. father mentioned that Tony wanted a divorce. Yeah, he does. Are you going to grant it? Of course I'm going to grant it. Are you going to tell him that you're pregnant? No. Good. Rachel, I know I've done things to hurt you. And I'm sorry. But you have to know I did them. For you, I did them because I love you. Look, Max, Look, I really appreciate you calling the doctor and getting me some food. But that's it. I don't want anything from you. Nothing. Yes, you do. <sighs> did you know that Tony hired David Larchmont? What? He was looking for an excuse to get rid of you. What are you talking about? When Tony found out about Marnie's accident, he hired Larchmont to go and find somebody to replace the victim. So Larchmont found Annie? Mm-hmm. Through a friend of hers, a woman named Julie. That's what Annie says. How do you know about this? I did my own research, and then Julie told me the whole story. Wait a minute. I mean, why, why would Tony hire David Larchmont? If he wants me out of the house, why didn't he just tell me? I don't know. But I warned you about him, Rachel. He's hurt a lot of people. 
and he always seems to come out on top. I had nothing to do with the helicopter accident. But I didn't know that someone was trying to kill him. And you knew this in advance? Mm-hmm. The exact date and time. Well, that makes you an accessory to the murder, Max. What about the pilot? The pilot is dead. You're not a good person. You're a bad person, Max. I have to be. I have to be in order to fight people like Tony. Well, I don't believe you. Well, then why don't I bring the Julie woman over here and have her explain the whole story to you if she has the evidence? What evidence does she have? A check that Larchmont gave her from Tony. The only thing that's missing is his signature. Well, why isn't the check signed? Because Tony said he wouldn't sign it until after the scam was done. How do you know it's one of Tony's checks? Because his name is printed on it. <sighs> Does Annie know about this? The only one that knows is Julie. I can't believe this. I can't, I can't believe this. Rachel. I know I've done terrible things. I know I've done things to hurt you, but I've never been as bad as Tony. I never lied to you about my feelings about you. But he has. Ever since the very beginning. Over and over again. You want some coffee, Uncle Charlie? Yeah, thanks. Any messages for this Larchmont character today? No. Where were you all? Do you look tired? I was out looking for a guy with a car. What for? Well, every time Rachel makes this appointment to see David Larchmont, it's really strange. Larchmont doesn't show, but this other guy shows up every time. What guy? Bill, something or other. And who is he? Well, he ripped off one of Tony's employees. And also, he worked at the club. Also? Yeah, and he worked there, too. Who's Annie? Remember Marnie hit that kid? Mm -hmm. Annie's his sister. And what's strange about Annie and this Bill guy working at the same place? Well, that, that's not strange. The strange part is that every time an appointment is set up to meet with Larchmont, this other guy, Bill, shows up. I'm getting really confused. Please, tell me the whole story. I, um, I can't tell it. I, I don't have all the pieces, Pammy. Why not? Well, I've never asked, and Tony's never told me. Is this a very serious problem? I think so. And you think this Bill guy has something to do with David Larchmont? Could be. We'll find out sooner or later. Why? Well, I've got his house under surveillance. I'm going to get him. Sooner or later. Please mellow out. What are you talking about? You keep looking at your watch every couple of minutes. Relax. I just don't understand why Max hasn't called. Why don't you call him one last time? And if he doesn't answer, it's over. Finito, kaput. Let's try that. While you're up, can you get me a bag of chips? Max Hauser, please. He's not? Has he been home? He has. You know when he's coming back? Mm. Thanks. No, no, no message. Guess he's not home, huh? He's not. Where is he? 
I don't know. He was there a while ago. Then he left a few minutes ago. I don't get it. Maybe he doesn't need our services anymore. A guy like Max, with all those shady deals he's got going, he needs us all the time. Aren't you forgetting something? What? Where's my chips? Get them yourself. I'm not your slave. Ooh, touchy. You better get over it. Get over it. Max House has been our income for the last two years. What are we going to do now? I'm getting some chips. After that, I'll think about it. Why does Tony say I lied? Because he's right. Why didn't you tell him about Julie? I couldn't, Martin. She's my friend. I couldn't. If you don't tell the truth, Senor Bostoni is going to throw you and your brother in the can. I can't do it, Martin. Why the hell not? Because of Julie? The only thing she's ever done is get you into trouble. First at the club and now this. Ah, Senor Bostoni is a good guy. He's going to help you. All he wants to know is to find David Larchmont. Tell him about Julie and let him find Larchmont. I can't do it, Martin. Larchmont threatened me again. He said that if I said anything, he would break Daniel's legs. When did you see him again? Today. He came here? No. I saw him at the Stockdale residence. Can you imagine how scared I got when, when I saw him there at the hotel? David Larchmont was at Senora Mrs. Rachel Hotel? Was he alone with her? No, Peter was there too. But they know him by a different name. She introduced him as Mr. Hauser. Hauser? Yes, and then she called him Max. Max? Then Senor Max and David Larchmont are the same person? Okay to make a mistake. The important thing is, is is to see it and to correct it. I mean, I understand that you got a little sidetracked by Rachel. I mean, she's sort of attractive, and I realize it. It's going to take some time. Who are you waving? Who is that? Uh, it's Frank. <laughs> Maura, I don't want to talk about Rachel anymore. Do you understand? No, oh, I really don't either. You know what I think you need. I think you need a vacation. I agree. Why don't you and I go to Los Angeles for a couple of days? Andrew and I might go to Miami. Oh. Oh, that's that's perfect. I asked you to go to Los Angeles with me, and you'd rather go to Miami with Andrew? Maura, do not pressure me right now. Not in the mood. and David Larchmont are the same person. Maybe. Ay, ay, ay. But who's this Max anyway? The boss's brother. But how can that be if he has a different last name? Because they had different fathers. I don't know. Honey, come on. You cannot just keep this quiet. <laughs> but I'm scared, Martin. He said he was going to break Daniela's legs. I know you're afraid, honey. But are you sure, Senora Mrs. Rachel said he was Max? Of course I'm sure. She said, Max, please go. And he's the same guy that said his name was David Larchmont. And he walked out and, and, and she asked me if that was Mr. Larchmont and I said no. Annie, Annie, we gotta do something. And I know you are scared, but hey, how come Julie knows him? I don't know. Ask her. Ask her. We have to find out the truth without him knowing it was you. Does this guy have lots of money? Well, I guess so. Ay, Lord. He's mean and he has lots of money. He's going to kill me. Uh -huh. Please don't tell anybody. Please. Don't tell Peter. Don't tell Daniel. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> 